today on Unbox Daily, we are taking a look at Target Fun Finds. We did a little shopping from the value bins at the front of the store and found some great things that we could probably use for the dollhouse. Here are some string LED lights. They are battery operated and they look like little lanterns, so lots of possibilities there. I found some scarves. These are $3 and they could make some cool curtains or maybe a very light throw. A little toucan statue. I think this was a dollar. It might be a cool little prop in a room. A tabletop succulent. There were a couple of different ones. Maybe our dolls are into gardening. And I like adding a little touch of green to my doll rooms because to me, it feels like it just gives them a little life. I found these trays for $5 and I thought they had the coolest pattern. I bet we could take some cool photos with that. A mini plastic flamingo. I bet this would be adorable in a doll's yard. I found these kneeling pads. They are made out of foam. You know, I bet we could make something out of this. Let's try to make a doll room or a scene using only our target value fun finds. I guess we gotta figure out what to do with this. We got a couple of other things. This is a ceramic jar. It says odds and ends. It's a good place to store stuff and it can make a nice little side table. Mini umbrellas, those are fun. Fruit erasers and pillows are a great source of fabric and fluff. To make our room, let's start with the trays. If we stand them up, we can use them as walls for a corner room. Angle it just like that. Yeah, that works. I can use this for a floor. I just have to trim it. And remember to always use adult supervision when working with sharp objects. That makes a very colorful floor. And I switched my background to an ocean scene because it's kind of reminding me of a cabana. I take another piece of foam. I follow the pattern to cut an L shape. Make two. I flip them over and glue them together using hot glue. And remember to always have adult supervision when working with hot objects. I cut a thin strip, then I cut it down to get the woven pattern. Glue it around the edge to make a trim around the edge. Cut another piece of foam, glue it onto the back to make a backrest. Here is another piece of foam. This time it's kind of a greenish color for a cushion. However, I feel that my lines are a little messy. So we're gonna harvest some fabric from this pillow. Carefully cut the pillow open to get the fabric. Place the cushion good side down onto the fabric leaving enough fabric around the edge to be folded over and glued down. Trim off the excess fabric, then fold it over the edge and glue into place. Then glue it into place. Use a post-it and leftover fabric to cut out squares, sew together and turn inside out. Fill it with the fluff from the pillow to make miniature pillows to make a sectional. I pull the plants out of the jars and glue them to the side, then add the toucan for a whimsical touch. Remove the top from the jar, take off the seal. I found some stir sticks for a dollar, cut off the bottom, take it and glue it onto the lid for legs to make a coffee table. Add batteries to the LED lights, string them across the top, I started with the palm leaf lights, then I added the lanterns. Add a pineapple eraser, add a few umbrellas for a little more color to create a cute little tropical cabana using only things that we found in the value section at Target. Now our dolls have a place where they can relax and have a little vacay. Thank you for joining us while we made our Target Fun Fine Cabana. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And you're done. Happy crafting!
want to give a shout out to Jean Morgan. What's up? So let me get this straight. You were trying to get away from the ocean while I was trying to get to the ocean? Wow. I mean, just wow.